muy feliz para conocer a ustedes y um, tengo preguntas para empezar. Eh, entonces, ¿quién es curiosa acá y, y feliz? Bueno, es un buen, una buena forma para empezar la conversación. Estoy feliz para, para encontrar a ustedes y para conversar, ojalá, en, en las próximas horas juntos. Entonces, vamos a ver. Y si es, está bien para ustedes, voy a conversar entre inglés y castellano, porque para mí a veces me olvidé palabras, entonces es mejor para introducir la, como ideas a veces en inglés. ¿Es ok? Bueno, gracias. Con tu pa paciencia conmigo. Ah, y Javi. Qué lindo él. <risa> Eh, bueno, eh, quiero, quiero conversar obviamente de la economía colaborativa eh, como contexto, pero también otra idea porque yo creo es una meta idea que estamos cambiando, que eh, yo, yo como tiene un, un nombre de social OS, es un, un sistema op, op, operativa, operativo, de social, como, como una computadora, pero de la sociedad. Bueno, voy a eh, empezar con un confession. Eh, en 2007, yo como hacer un look back de mi vida, y, y como una empresaria, yo pensé como un B, como con éxito, bien. Pero en realidad yo empecé mi carrera como una empresaria para cambiar eh, la sociedad de, del mundo porque estaba una ambientista y por eso yo he fallido para mí. Y por eso estaba pensando de las cosas de eh, la economía colaborativa y por eso yo escribí mi libro La Maya porque es para poner otra cosa de, de solamente para ganar plata o para hacer productos, pero ¿qué estamos haciendo juntos? Esa es mi pregunta. ¿Y ¿Por qué no vamos a cambiar el mundo? Solamente estamos haciendo empresas para hacer más cosas y para tirar más basura. Y, y ¿Qué estamos haciendo? Esa es mi pregunta en esa época. Bueno, y por eso... En ese momento, yo, te, yo tuve una idea, uff, estamos como una computadora, tenemos un sistema, no es obvio, es in, in, invisible, eh, no es obvio, pero es como el sistema, estamos viviendo adentro y pusieron eh, un menú cada día, con quién puedo hablar, con quién eh, puedo hacerlo, eh, que tiene que pensar, eh, es como un sistema, pero no muy transparente. Por eso eh, estaba pensando, chu, hay, es difícil para, para cambiar ese, porque es como el agua de al, al, en el mar, eh, pa, pa pes, pa pes. Es, es, no es obvio, es, pero es, es como la, the water we swim in. Es, entonces, social OS. Un, un ejemplo es eh, la época de, de generales. Eh, ¿Quién acá tiene un recuerdo del de último siglo? <risa> Bien. Eh, para mí es un siglo de generales. General Mills, General Electric, General Dynamics. Who did I forget? Uh, bueno, and also, we, we created a world donde hay un, un, un cima, un cima, eh, de italiano ahora, <laughs> un cima y, y como un sistema donde hay un a top and a bottom, eh, where it's one to many. And hey, I own the machines, You work for me. 
benefits to the few, not to the many. Eso, eso es como los valores y la como onda de el último siglo. Pero se cambiaron ahora y cambiando rápidamente. Bienvenido a 21. <laughs> eh, diferente desafío, tecnología, preguntas, demandas, es muy diferente. Eh, entonces, por ejemplo, para mí es un, un diseño donde la, la cosa en el centro naranja representa eh, cosas conectas. Autos, casas, nosotros, zapatos. Eh, ¿Quién acá, por ejemplo, tiene un, un teléfono con la, la red y mapas y cosas como así, apps? Estoy muy, muy segura que toda la gente acá tiene. <laughs> y probablemente hay, hay gente aquí con tres. <laughs> bueno, entonces estamos creciendo porque vamos a tener dos... Eh, 200 bi billones de cosas conectas en como 2020, es casi en un segundo. En ese forma es posible para, para hacer cosas, para ganar cosas, para, para vivir en un mundo donde es posible para, para eh, ganar cosas rápidamente y, y en, en una tra transacción gratis o barato. Y eso es la misma información que, que Albert mostró eh, de todas las cosas como features que gente en como cinco o diez años atrás pagaron mucho. Por ejemplo, video conferencing, fotos, maps, eh, video games, digital voice recorders, pero ahora Todas estas cosas están gratis, adentro de un, una caja simple. Y por eso es como, para mí, es como nuestra herencia. Esto es una parte muy importante, que es que hay muchas herramientas muy sofisticadas y tecnologías que valoramos cinco o diez años ago y pagamos mucho dinero por que ahora es gratis. Las expectaciones están cambiando rápido y es difícil para pensar como una empresa, eh, va, ¿por qué vamos a hacer una inversión por algo? Porque en cinco o diez años chu, no, he, no tiene valor. Entonces es otro, otro como momento para pensar. Estamos en la época cuando tr access trumps ownership, acceso gana sobre, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, propiedad. Sí, I told you, I forget words. <laughs> bueno, gracias. Um, entonces, por eso, uh, ese es como para mí un, un concepto central, porque es mucho más fácil y mucho más interesante la mayoría de veces, no siempre, pero la mayoría de veces para, para ganar acceso y, y no es importante para, para tener un auto o una oficina solamente para tú misma, por ejemplo. This is a, is a map from a, from a company called Mapbox. They, this is a map of the world. It's shot from a satellite. It's showing uh, 900 billion Wi-Fi boxes um, and connections, also showing cell towers. For me, not only is it showing that we are more connected to each other than ever before as a planet, which is that, that knowledge plus 200 billion connected devices means that We, we have the ability to share and to participate in collaboration widely in a way we never did before. But also, for me, this also shows that 
what we're creating is ma things that were invisible. Your apartment when you're not home, your car that's sitting around, the desk that's next to you, your great ideas that you didn't tell me two weeks ago. Now we can make those things visible. That creates, just that itself creates the opportunity to change unused value, things that were wasted, into value. And this is huge. It's huge when it comes to physical waste, which is the circular economy, but it's generated from the very same thing, that we have the capacity now to take something that was invisible and make it very obvious. And this one thing, I think, is fundamental to changing the way we think about creating value and therefore fundamental to how we appreciate each other and life and how our economy works. Most of you, I'm sure, everybody, Airbnb, who's used it, or something like it, fan bed, uh, rumor. Um, okay, and anyone is a host? Ah, super. So th this is just to say Airbnb, I think most people here know, um, one of the core business models within the collaborative economy is a two-sided marketplace. The marketplace on the demand and the supply side has peers. So it's not a company, it's you and me. Um, the reason I'm showing you this is these numbers are really impressive, but also for an another reason. Uh, in 11% of the time, so in seven years, versus the largest hotel chain on the planet is the Intercontinental Hotel. The Intercontinental has less than half the number of rooms in, in a lot more time. Airbnb has more than twice the number of rooms and more than twice the market value. This shows, for me, a kind of resilience because when the World Cup comes to Barcelona or Madrid or wherever we, we say it's coming, uh, or in New York, for example, there's a big storm. Suddenly there's a demand that outstrips the supply, that there's more demand than supply. It's very hard, impossible for the intercontinental to make more rooms overnight. But for, for Airbnb and these two-sided marketplaces, fundamentally resilient. And that model has a lot to do with why I think they're, they're absolutely going to kill last century's mentality and social OS. Um, this is just to say, for example, how rapidly these systems are changing, that in one, in one year, from 2013 to 2014, Uber launched in Los Angeles, and people, when they opened the app, were willing to wait eight minutes. One year later, they were only willing to wait four minutes. So even though you're leading in the marketplace, we can we have to continually reinvent and check and learn and grow because the customers are very demanding and they can go to many places for, for new things. Um, for me, one of the fundamental takeaways, one of my conclusions is that diversity in the, these marketplaces create diversity for example, you, there's one kind of room, let's say, in a hotel. There's many kinds of Airbnbs or places to stay. But also, as a city or as a company, the diversity of talent, of products, of ideas, of partnerships creates resilience. And resilience, because the world is changing so fast, and we, we have in la, 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 la película en la cabeza es como plan A, pero necesita usar usa la mente como plan J. <laughs> Entonces, it's, it's very important. The resilience is essential. One of the key things that we're seeing with the early uh, companies is that they have created a lot of value for their in shareholders, the founders and the investors. But all of us that are participating or putting our homes on the network or driving for Lyft or Uber, we are not, we are not part of the $125 billion of value. 
this for me means, and as my second confession is, it's a little bit of a disappointment that in the collaborative economy, while it's growing so fast, we're still not sharing the value that's captured. We're all sharing creating value, but we're not sharing how it's captured. And so this is a big opportunity to change because, for example, this is tw the 20th century business model with a 20, sorry, a 21st century business model with a 20th century structure. And this is the opportunity is to have the structure match the model to grow in a way that we have it more balanced, yeah? In a way, for me, this is last century and this is where we're moving to an ecosistema a sin centro, sin, sin cima, sin, sin piso. Um, trust, confianza, eh, es un, un, una, una cosa eh, fuerte y importante y seguramente del el último siglo y los bancos, por ejemplo, no tienen la confianza de la mayoría de gente, marcas también. Ahora estamos en, en como el eh, pre principio. Sí, gracias. Para, de, para, para hacer y, 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 y dar confianza en, en ellos mismos, en o, o una otra. Um, I'm going to say this word and very little, but I want, I'm happy to have more conversations. Um, the, the underwear, the infrastructure of blockchain, uh, sorry, the infrastructure of Bitcoin, which you've heard a lot about Bitcoin, is something that's called blockchain. The only th reason I bring it up here is that for me, blockchain holds the promise of solving a big puzzle for how we actually grow into a truly distributed peer-to-peer -peer world and economy. And I think that um, there's a lot more conversation to hear, but from a social OS, from a social operating system perspective, what we're missing is an architecture for cooperation. And blockchain gives us that possibility. It's very early, so maybe in a year we'll have more conversation, or later this afternoon, but i just letting you know, like, coming attractions. Who here considers themselves optimistic? Optimistica. Bueno, para mí por lo menos si quiere inventar el futuro necesita tener una perspectiva de un, como una optimística persona, porque si no están eh, pensando solamente en el pasado, eh, como, como así, con miedo para cambiar cosas. Entonces ese es un, una cosa fuerte y, y potente, si necesita cambiar la, tu mentalidad, voy, voy, a, voy a como darte dos minutos. No. <laughs> Pero tengo mucha paciencia, obviamente. <laughs> um, bueno, eh, como en, some, en, en el fin, um, necesitamos un spark, friction. Friction is, is very good because without friction, there's no fire. Too much friction, we have a mess. Some friction is good. Cities and sharing companies have friction. Teams within s startups and corporations have friction. Between big companies and startups, there's friction. That's a good thing. We need that. I think uh, We Share is a great example, uh, and this event is a great example of the culture of generosity. Also, one of the fundamental pieces to make this, these models and this change happen. Um, the the last thing I think I'm going to mention is that uh, just like when I go to the movies and see Antonio Banderas, or you go and see Salma Hayek, and you watch the the movie and you say, "Wow." Qué lindos. <laughs> <laughs> qué guapo. Pero también es como qué impresionante. Uh, emocional. Um, we don't say they, they're total failures. Take 42, take 127. Quién sabe, no importa. 
Entonces, para mí, son mistakes. For us, we have to be very comfortable with mistakes. We have to feel that these are, this is part of, para, para crecer, necesita hacerlo. Si no quiere crecer, bueno. Pero si quiere inventar el, el, el futuro o eh, ganar como in, innovaciones, necesita hacer mistakes. Stay open. We don't know who's going to be built brilliant or who, where our next big idea is going to come from. Many companies are creating accelerators. This one comes from Disney. Their companies are experimenting rapidly with different kinds of platforms, um, different companies, especially banking. We in Silicon Valley realize that meetings are, are, are like the booby prize. You try, you try not to have so many meetings and just make stuff and learn. Um, I'm going to skip this. I think one of the questions we want to ask, I'm asking you, I think you want to ask each other, is who is inventing our social OS? What's missing and what do we need to move to a real social operating system that supports colaboración? A, in closing, the, as you know, a Spanish expression is, estamos juntos pero no revuelto. Bienvenido, vamos a arrebatar. <laughs> Gracias.